he is over there! Get out of the water! Help me up, lads! We got you. Huh? Ah! Heavy, get this bloody helmet off me! Ow! Hold still, devil man. You have a gashing shark blood. Here, Alan, take this and patch the wound. Thanks, guys. You're gonna be all right, Demo Man. Yeah, it seems like it. You mind telling us what was going on back in the ocean? Aye. The sharks and sea snake were attacking me constantly. Even the eels actually had the guts to charge and attempt to kill me. And all of that started just cause of that roar from the giant octopus. Seems like an engineer. I don't know about you guys, but these seas are haunted. Or at least, they feel like it's haunted. So what then, lad? Are we just gonna head to shore? Well, the best we can do may be move to another sea. Hopefully we can try and head south and probably be a few miles off of Cuba. Come demo, I'll take you in the boat to rest. We're probably gonna spend the night in sea. I'll make us some sandwiches. Well, I'll get the boat ready then. Then, gentlemen, shall we discuss what we found in the waters? I found a few treasure chests. I believe three chests full of Spanish doubloons should be worth around three mil. I'd say this should be enough, don't you guys think? Now, at least the treasure is what we came for. But what about the monster in the Gulf? We don't know where it came from, nor its origins. Not only that this octopus, for some reason, wherever it is, and whenever we hear that eerie noise that we got on our sonars and from Demo Man's camera, it aggravated almost any nearby sea predator. And they all attacked him for some reason. Even the ones that are usually harmless. It's quite strange, actually. How exactly do you explain that, Alan? Well, my hypothesis is the giant octopodus seems to have some sort of magnetic field that connects to any sea predator, almost like a symbiotic relationship as an alpha of the seas. And according to the Greek-like paintings in those caverns, the beast must have been alive for over 3,000 years. Quite interesting that a beast like it could live for so long when an average life of a giant Pacific octopus is three to five years. Although I believe our sonars picked up something else and one of our underwater drones have found some ancient ruins deep beneath the waters. What exactly did your sonar pick up? I would suggest you all just listen to it. What the hell is that? I don't know. Although I fear that the octopus has awoken something else. Something that might be worse than the sharks. What exactly could make a noise like that? Some kind of whale? I don't think so heavy sounds like a mix of a whale or a dolphin and some other sea creature that make noise like it. The exact coordinates of the sonar is in that underwater world. I would suggest we investigate more of the mysteries of the Gulf. Well, Demo Man can't get back in the water. He's still injured. Salt water is not good for the wound. And lastly, he would bleed again and would attract more sharks. I will go then. Are you sure about that, Heavy? Yes, I have experience with the oceans as well. It's the best I can do for the crew. Well, if that's the case, I made you a harpoon minigun. Hopefully that should benefit you whenever you come across a large predator, such as a great white. Thanks, Engineer. We will continue our dive first thing in the morning. Yay! Yeah, right, I read you loud and clear, Alan. Good. The ancient ruins shouldn't be far from your current location. We dropped some oxygen and gear where the site is rumored. I believe the ruins are quite the feeding grounds for sea predators. Hmm. But what about the sounds from your sonar? You said it came from said location. Yeah. Me and Alan is still attempting to analyze the sounds and what they are similar to. I could say this loop has sounds of many varieties of marine mammals. 
Alan says it's like a combination of a whale, dolphin, and melon-headed whales. Although he don't believe whales are in the gulf of this time of the year. Since they usually come around the end of November or March. And yet today is still August. Quite strange, actually. Whatever's down here, I hope it ain't close. Hey, engineer! I'm gonna go fishing. Want any fried fish once I catch any? Heck yeah! Really? You guys are fishing now and gonna make food soon? Yeah, we are! Now, you know how I feel back in Planet Subnautica when you guys keep getting canes or McDonald's. Ha ha ha! It's not funny! I wouldn't mind them if I were you. Just get to the main objective, Heavy. Call me once you make it. Over and out. Over and out. find some treasure chest around here. Although, are you hearing what I'm hearing around the ruins? I believe I'm picking up something. There's something about those ruins as if whenever you enter or close to it, there is a melody. A beautiful melody. I have to admit this song is beautiful. But where's it coming from? Yeah, I can hear it too. I do not know, actually. There is no other sea creature that could make such sounds. Hmm, whatever it is, it's making me a bit uneasy. This don't feel right. Not at all. Oh! It's the sea devil! Heavy, you're gonna have to fight the feeding frenzy. Why can't I just get oh! back to the boat? If you do, the sea creatures could attack the boat the beast knows oh! you're here, and it's already sent a feeding frenzy after you just take out the wave and come back as soon as possible. Oh! 
I promise you, pain without end. It's good time to run, coward! Look at me! Look at me! Ah! Holy shit! What the fuck is that creature? Is that what I think it is? Mother of mercy! That's a bloody siren! Son of a bitch! First sharks, sea snakes, eels, now mermaids! What's next to Megalodon? I don't know why those mermaids or sirens are here, but how exactly are the sirens and the sea beast connected? And aren't they supposed to be a myth? The oceans are always unknown to us, Alan. I guess now we know merfolk do exist, but deadly. Just be careful, Heavy. Yeah! Oh! Run! Run! I'm coming for you! I am Heavy Weapons Guy, and this is my new weapon. All of you are dead! Сирена, я сломаю тебя.
Guys, I don't see anything around me. Hurry up and get me. Ah! Shit! Big not 